Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss about decision trees. And I will try to explain you every single concept behind decision trees with very simple live example. I can assure you guys, after completing this video, you won't have any single doubt about decision trees and random forest. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing it and press the bell icon because every week we used to come up with new data science video and try to explain you the concept in the most simplest form. So without waiting, let's start. So Ara is a football player. We have 14 days historical data with us whether he played football or not. The problem statement is we have to predict either he is going to play football or not on 14th day. Since we have only this data available, we will say out of 13 days he has played football 6 days. So the probability of playing football on 14th day will be 6 by 13 and not playing football will be 7 by 13. But what happens if I give you some additional data? We have collected weather data for same 13 days. With this weather data on hand, we want to give some better prediction. So let's understand how a decision tree can help us out. We will try to split our data based on the weather. So we can see that out of 13, 4 days the weather was sunny and on those 4 days, 2 days Ara had played football. On windy days he has played football 4 times out of 5 times. On the rainy days he has not played football. So we are going to split our data on weather. Then we are checking that there are 3 splits, sunny, windy and rainy. And yes no's are showing me the probability of playing football on sunny days. So the probability of playing football on sunny day is 2 by 4 and not playing on sunny day is again 2 by 4. But if the weather is rainy, out of 4 days Ara had not played football. So I can say that if the weather is rainy, Ara is not going to play football. So I am getting a kind of certainty with help of weather data over here. So this kind of split is called a decision tree. So in decision trees, we make the split of data based on the feature available. The data remained after the splits or the output of these splits are called the node. So those nodes where we get only one class either yes or no. Like in case of rainy we are getting only no's in our split. So these type of nodes are called the pure nodes because splitting further on this node is not possible. So we grow our trees until we reach to the pure node in most of the cases. If I add up one feature saying that I also have temperature data of the day. So we can make a split on the temperature and find out how the person has behaved with respect to the temperature. So for sunny type of weather we can make one more split on top of this. Let's see what happens when we have more number of features. So we have added temperature data to our table now. But here I can see that it's numbers. I have to decide how to make splits on top of this. Because in weather type of feature since it is a categorical feature. So a categorical feature is some feature which contains some categories of data. Like here we have category sunny, rainy and windy. These type of features are called categorical features. In these type of features it's very simple to make splits because we have to put up one category and check out what's the distribution inside that category. But temperature is a numerical variable. So let's understand how to make splits on numerical type of features. Here I have given a process for selecting the possible splits for numerical variable. So we have taken all temperature which is available with us. Then we have found out the unique numbers out of all those numbers. So like 21, 19, 22 and 24 are unique numbers. Then let's short it out based on increasing order. So I have shorted it out to 19, 21, 22 and 24. Then we have to find out the average of these two numbers like 19 and 21 the average is 20. Now 21 and 22 the average is 21.5. Now 22 and 24 the average is 23. So these are called my possible splits. On those splits I can split the data which is in numerical form. So this process can be easily utilized in case of coding because we just have to short out the number and then find out the average between every progressive numbers. This gives me all possible splits on a numerical variable. So with that let's make splits. Our first split is 20. Here splitting of data is bit different 
from the splitting of data what we did earlier. So for the first split, we are splitting up the data wherever I am finding out the temperature is less than 20. So on the upper side of the table you can see and the lower side of the table is showing me wherever the temperature is higher than 20. There are two splits on top of this node. So each possible splits can split the complete data set into two parts. The first one is lower than and the other one is the higher one. So for the 20th split in the chart we can see that we have 3 no and 0 yes. For the higher side from the 20 we have 6 yes and 4 no's. Now let's make our second split on 21.5. So the upper table is showing me whatever numbers are less than 21.5 and the lower one is showing me whatever numbers are higher than 21.5. We can see that we have two yes and four no's for lower side and four yes and three no's for the higher side. As same as we can do for 23. So here is the 23. From the table you can see that on the higher side we have only four items available from which we have two no and two yes and from the other side we have nine items available so from the lower side we have five out of nine are yes four out of nine are no and from the higher side two out of four are yes and two out of four are no so with this we are able to split our data based on categorical variable and numerical variables so the total number of possible splits are four now the first split is on categorical data and we have three splits available on numerical data. So the total number of splits are four. So out of all four splits, we have to find out the best split. So for finding out best split, we have multiple methods available. Here we are going to discuss about entropy. Entropy is a measure of randomness. So if in a split, the data is completely random then we can say that entropy is high. In this 21.5, we can see that on the higher side, we have four out of seven yes and three out of seven no. So this set or this node is completely random. So here I have very high entropy. Whereas if I see the split on weather in the rainy part, we have four yes and zero no's. So this is a pure node. Here my entropy will be zero. But there is a specific formula by which we can calculate the entropy. Let's understand that formula and calculate entropy for each and every splits. Then we need to check that wherever I am getting the least entropy. So wherever I'll be getting the least entropy, that will be my best split. So the formula for entropy is minus of pi multiplied by log of pi summed over all the nodes. This is the same probability what we have calculated earlier. So like for this yes, my probability is 3 by 4. Let's find out the entropy when we have not divided the set by any splits, means the initial entropy. So as an initial, as we can see in the table, we have 7 no's and 6 yes out of 13 points. The probability of no is 7 divided by 13, that is 0.54 and the probability of yes is 6 divided by 13 that is 0.46 now in the formula as you can see we need to find out the log of this probability so we are finding out the log of this probability then we need to multiply this probability with its log we have multiplied these probability with their logs then we have to sum them so after summing them we are getting the entropy 0.99573 so guys this is the initial entropy without any split so let's find out what happens when we make the split? Obviously, if we are gaining some information after the splits, our entropy should decrease because entropy is a randomness. As much as data will be random, the less will be the confidence on prediction. So what happens when we make split on our categorical variable, which is weather? So when we make split on weather, we are finding out that for the sunny data, we have total four points. For windy data, we have five points and for raining data, we have total four points. So for sunny, out of four points, we have one no and three yes. So we have found out the probability, then same multiple of probability and log value 
and summed over this will be the entropy. So all three sets we have calculated the entropy. As I told earlier, for rainy season I have all no, zero yes. So it means this is a pure node. Here I do not have to do anything because my entropy will become zero itself since the probability of yes zero and probability of no will be one. So log of one will be zero then zero summed out over all probabilities becomes zero. So this gives us a pure idea that whenever I am getting a pure node, my entropy will be zero and as much meshy will be the node, the higher will be the entropy. So now we have three splits. So for finding out the complete entropy after the splits, we need to multiply the weighted sum. So weighted sum is the sum of entropy multiplied by the total numbers inside that split. So for sunny we have taken 4 is the sum because 4 and 13 is the total number of point. So 4 by 13 multiplied by 0 0.8112. Then for windy we have total 5 points. So 5 by 13 multiplied by 721928. In the rainy season we have only 4 points. So that is 4 by 13 multiplied by 0. So in total we are getting 0.5 265. So this is a huge entropy reduction because earlier we had entropy 0.99573. Now we are getting 0.5265. So this is huge reduction. So it means this feature is helping me out to give a good prediction. So what happens when we check on our numerical splits on 20, 21.5 and 23. So let's go for 20 first. So for 20 we have two splits. The first one is less than 20 and the second one is higher than 20. So for less than 20 we have only three parts and all three are no. So this is again a pure node so I am getting zero entropy over here. But for more than 20 the node is very random. We have four no and six yes. So probability of no will be 0 0.40 and probability of yes will be 0 0.6. So the entropy comes 0 0.97. So again we find out the weighted sum. So weighted sum for 3 by 13 multiplied by 0 and for the 20 will be 10 by 13 multiplied by 0 0.97. So again we are getting a good reduction in entropy but it's not better than the earlier split. So still our categorical variable split is the better one. In the same way we will calculate for both the other two splits for 21.5 and for 23. If we split on 21.5 we are getting entropy 0.9505 is the same way how we calculated entropy earlier. So same for the 23 split. So entropy is still very high. So our best split is still the categorical variable. In the categorical variable we have seen that on rainy we are already getting a pure node. We only have to check for these two nodes and make the further splitting. So we will do splitting until and unless we will get the pure nodes. But in some cases by over splitting the data we might overfit the model. For reducing this type of behavior of overfitting we put some thresholds on number of nodes for the leaf. If I put like I can only have seven nodes at the end this tree will not grow after seventh leaf node. So in that way we somehow able to protect our model from overfitting. With this we will close today's session. Please consider subscribing the channel and keep yourself updated with the new content. Bye bye. Take care.